Well, to find the equation of a tangent line, the first thing we need to do is find the slope of the tangent line, which means find the derivative of this function. So it's a product. We're going to have to use the product rule. It's the product of x squared and sine of x. So take the derivative of each one, but just one at a time. Take the derivative of x squared is 2x and then leave the sine function alone plus leave the x squared function alone and take the derivative of sine which is cosine and now to find the actual slope we're going to need to substitute in the number 2 The calculator might be handy for that. So make sure that it's in radians because that doesn't say 2 degrees, so it must mean 2 in radians. Alright, then we've got 4 sine of 2 plus 4 cosine of 2. And so the slope of the tangent line is 1.973. In order to use the point slope formula, the other thing we need to know is what's the y value when x equals 2? So go back to the function and substitute in 2, which is going to be 2 squared and sine of 2. Okay, then use the point slope formula, which is going to look like y minus the y value is equal to slope times x minus the x value. And then we need to do some algebra to clean it up so that we've got y equals what? Well, 1.973 times x. So distribute this. And then for the last part, we would have 1.973 multiplied with a negative 2. And then this, we would need to add to both sides. So add 3.637. All right, and then one way to check the answer is to graph the original function x squared sine of x. For the window, we need to, well, it goes out to x equals 2, so maybe from 0 to 4 would be good for the window. The y value is a 3.6, so probably 0 to five should be good enough. And we could take a look at the original function. Cute. Nice. And then also graph the line. So trace where x equals two. So right here, if we did all of this work correctly, we should get a line that goes right through that point. And it's a good linear approximation for the function right there. So let's see, y equals 1.973x minus 0 0.309, and that seems to be it. You can also trace, and again, there's the 2. So sure enough, it basically grazes the graph right there, and then keeps going. That seems to be it.